Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Well, kinda, I guess, my better judgment here. I went ahead and downloaded Multiverses. Now, for those that don't know, my computer's got a bum graphics card. And, especially as of recent, um, a lot of my games crash. So, I'm so because of that, I'm anticipating this game doing the same thing. Um, something else I was wanting to say. Oh, yeah, so, um, the only reason I'm doing this now is just basically confirmation. I just watched a video from one of my favorite YouTube channels, El Patel. Um, he basically heaped all sorts of praise on this game, so I figured I'd at least give it a try and see how far, see how far I go with it. Um, but, uh, like I said, though, I've got a bad graphics card on my computer. Or, I should just say I've got a bad computer period um so so it's not at any point in this playthrough it might end up crashing um and then uh secondly at least statistically my computer shouldn't be able to run this um i it doesn't it doesn't meet the uh, spec requirements but i've had this happen before with a game called killer instinct i mean i didn't meet its spec requirements but yet it plays just fine when it's not crashing that is so so, once again, um, I'm only playing this just just to confirm that it's going to crash so I can, just so I can say, Oh well, I tried. So, um, but uh, there's still going to be some preliminary stuff I need to get taken care of. Like, I need to get this game out of full screen. That's, 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 a, big, that's a big one right there. I got to get it into window mode, or at the very least, um full screen windowed or borderless or whatever so and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill a few windows first here I don't need that I don't need that no, I'll go ahead and leave that in there okay so there we go well so far, I see. I definitely see one good thing about this game. You can use both. Uh, you can use mouse, and you can use. Uh, you can use a uh, controller. You can use them both interchangeably. Like I'm using a controller right now, and now I'm using the mouse. I don't know about keyboard, but holy jumping shit balls! You can use them all, and you can use them all interchangeably. So, huge plus with me. But. And no, I... Uh... Okay, um... Based on my experience playing Guilty Gear Strive... I want best performance, but I don't want, I don't want no damn 240 or 360 pixels either, so. One frame thread lag. Character occlusion. Um, having a tool, having tool tips here could be, might be nice. I have, I've probably seen character occlusion on numerous other games, but. To this day, I still have no idea what it means, so I'll just leave it leave it like that. Um, audio. This is kind of nice too. Everything's set at a modest ten. Most other games that I play, the volume is fucking jacked up. Oh damn. No, that is the max. Okay. We are. Let me look at my OBS. Let me see how. Okay, that's kind of a negative. Um, let me let me turn it up from my end. Yeah, that's kind of a that's a negative right there. Um, I like um, I like having the uh, music and sound effects still running when I switch windows.
<laughs> I gave my birthday and I was born in 1972. You had still got to ask me. Um. Yeah. Medium. I don't know what. Um. I've seen this before. Um. When I stream uh, Pinball FX3, I don't. I don't know if you guys can see this. Little tooltip, once that copyrighted music will be removed from the game. Um, but when I stream uh, Pinball FX3, I have the same problem. I have the same thing here, too. The problem is, is uh, it's going to... Turning this, turning this on, yeah, you ain't got to worry about... Like, if you're on Twitch, you don't have to worry about parts of your video being muted. Um, on YouTube, you don't have to worry about your stream being flagged for copyright, you know, copyright claimed. But on the downside... It's gonna make your um, it's gonna make your audio sound like ass, like total silence. I had the same problem when playing uh, Pinball FX3. Oh, and uh, please believe me when I say I have a, I'm having to deal with a canker sore in my lower lip. Um, it's pretty numb right now because I just ate some ice cream, but after a while the pain's gonna come back. So, but yeah, like. Like I was saying, um, Pinball FX3 has the same problem. I mean, yeah, you can turn off the copyrighted music and your your uh, videos, stream videos and whatnot. It won't get muted or flagged. But on the downside, it, it's not. It's gonna your stream's gonna sound totally off kilter. You know, there's no music where there should be. That kind of thing. So. But I'm not, I'm not streaming. I'm just making a simple video. Um, I guess one thing I could probably do. And then, um, if I'm having to deal with too much silence, then what I'll go ahead and do is, uh, bring in music from outside. Because I've got a, because I have access to a fair amount of free-to-use music. But I want to see, um, I just want to see how much copyrighted music actually is in this game. So. And I'll just go ahead and leave all this the way it is. Um, control, same thing. Oh, yeah. Looks a little bit pixelated. So, let me, let me go back. Guilty Gear Strive all over again. So, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of compromise and set it to 50%. Alright, so I have the um, I have the game set to windowed. But, unfortunately, it looks like you can't you can't manually resize the window and I, I can't even put my cursor on the blue border, so... It's going to have to be windowed full screen. There we go. Okay, a little bit better, but like I said, it was going to be um, Guilty Gear Strive all over again. Uh, no. That's not my display name. So let me um no, not up, so um I kinda wanna change my name. Muxy Game Link. You just edit the avatar. Yeah, 
and everything else I gotta unlock. Um, so let me go over here. Oh, okay. So, um, I know, I know Smoke and Sensei wants to, wants to get this game. I don't know about Jake Ryan, but I, hell, I'm, I don't think I'm even close to playing. I mean, I'm sorry if this sounds picky, but this is not the name I chose. I chose that when I created my WB account. So, Let me see if I can find, uh, what are these, uh, took you to your, took you to the, uh, WB website. Let me, I'm on my browser right now, but like I said, I'm sorry if this is being nitpicky, but having my, uh, my username is a permanent thing, so yeah, it's very important to me. Okay. WB Games account. Okay, um, I gotta go on my email real quick. I should have gotten a message there. I think I have to, con I have to confirm my email. Okay, all it did was tell me. Um, it just says my account's been created. So the only other thing I can think of is um. Quitting out of this game and and coming back in, but um, I'll wait till I'll wait for another time on that. Cause like I said, I have a bum, I've got a bum graphics card. So if I leave now, I might not be able to come back in without it crashing. So. Wait, where's the uh? Oh, there it is. And then while that's loading up, I gotta, I'm, look, I'm gonna look at my OBS real quick. Okay. So this kind of works like um, Rivals of Aether. Spike attack. Um, Rivals of Aether. Um, I think the players on there make heavy use of it, like when you're uh, off the platform and stuff.
Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to because I'm used to jumping by tapping up. Oh, I gotta do combos. Okay. I thought I was supposed to knock her off. Okay. Wonder Woman. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and. 
I'll do another tutorial. Whoops. Yeah, we got a total silence going on, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go grab some uh, free-to-play music and just have that going in the background, so it'll be a moment. Um, the silence is kind of driving me nuts right now, so... So if only because um, I have this in my watch later playlist. Yeah, so let me let me look real quick. I gotta. So it looks like uh looks like my OBS is not gonna cooperate with me. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and have a. Uh, it's called the Alchemist, uh, Lovecraftian Dark Ambient Hour, but not my first choice. But again, the only reason why I've got this on is because uh it's. It's just right here available. It's in my watch later playlist, but I'll go ahead and have that running in the background. And I kind of need to do a bit of a sound test. Like I said, this isn't my this isn't my first choice. It just it was just what was readily available. You don't have, you don't have much in the way of invulnerability. It's like you have to cast it like right when, just before the attack hits you. It's like the parry mechanic in Third Strike. I'm just watching this. And I might have to do some uh, key mapping too. Let's go to the main menu. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want my dodge.
And I think um, in Rivals of Aether, you can um, you can set the control up this way too. Um, the D-pad up will also do a quick hop. I don't think this game has it, but it's good to have here though. Vertical dead zone. I wonder what oh 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 There we go. Oh wait a minute, no, that's just uh that's any kind of up. And uh I already said it uh I already said it in the uh, control thing up there. Um it, If this is what I think it is, then this is gonna be definitely one of the reasons why Gems of War is one is is one of my favorite games. You can buff for your inputs. I wanna try that out. So let's let's go to the lab. I need to do something else. So, I'm hearing the music now. So, that means audio. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and kill that. Okay, so... Okay, so it doesn't seem to... Okay, so you can cancel into a dodge then. Okay, yup. Frickin' perfect. So yeah, I'm bumpering. I'm gonna hit a triangle and then hold down square. That should do a, do a special right into a normal punch. Yup. Then we can do... Okay. Nope. So it doesn't work for all attacks. Because like I said, I'm trying to... I'm buffering special. While he's, while he's in that punch, I'm uh, buffering the special, but it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so I guess you can cancel into a jump then. Yeah. So, yeah, that doesn't always work. So it also kind of occurred to me that unlike Rivals of Aether, it's either a normal attack or a special attack. So there are no, any, what, there's no uh, normal, strong, and then special. So what I'm going to have to do... That's square. That's triangle. So I'm gonna need to have a. I'm gonna need to have circle for something. I'll just. 
I'll just go ahead and uh, add it to that. That's just the color. Oh, oh, oh. And that was, um, another thing that interested me I got on, uh, multiverses. When I first saw, when I first heard about this, and they had Tom and Jerry in it, I saw that, uh, both of them were together. I thought that was gonna suck, because, uh, that meant that, uh, I thought at the time, I thought it meant that they were buddies. You know, which is, no, no, that's not the Tom and Jerry I know and love. I mean, that, I mean, I liked watching them up until, up until, like, I think it was the 70s when all of a sudden they became good friends and stuff and helped each other out. So, so when I saw this, when I saw this, I mean, I was, I was actually kind of ticked. I mean, they should have been two different, two separate characters. Because, like I said, they're rivals, not buddies. But, but no, um. But no, they um, they did it right. I mean, they're still attacking each other, so. Okay, so I see how that works. Then you just pick them up by running into them. So, but like I said, once I um, once I saw this, that they actually did Tom and Jerry right, then I I got an interest in this game. So, but like I said, if if they were just you know friends and pals and buddies, I would never even bother with this with this game because again they're they're doing the lore of Tom and Jerry like all wrong. <laughs> Okay, so Okay, so that's neutral then. Okay. I see. He's got a, he's got an ammo meter. All right. And then the the ball underneath is uh, damage meter. So apparently you could stack them up. So, so it seems you can only hold it for a short time then, and then.
like my blood sugar is getting low. <clears throat> so he's a stoner and a diabetic. Never knew that. Or I knew he's a. I always knew he was a stoner. Never knew he was a diabetic though. Can't. So you have to hold down the button. But like like I said, they did Tom and Jerry right. Oh damn! You're you got to be dead on balls accurate with that fishing pole. Let me go pick them up. Yeah. Let me pick him back up. Okay, so... And I guess, I'm guessing my opponent's got to run into that. Okay, so you can aim it too. Alright. So down special. Oh damn, you gotta wait a long time on that trap. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, bail out of this. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a do a single match, and then I'll call it good. got regions huge plus with this um I think there's a lot of other games that have online um but uh Windjammers 2 is the first one that comes to mind is uh some of these lives other games the entire planet is on one server so Bloons Tower Defense 6 that's another game that needs uh multiple servers are uh, because oftentimes I'm uh, I'm paired up with like people who are who are playing on a cell phone in India, you know, or something like that, or you know, or they're playing on a tablet in Antarctica or something, so, you know, massive lag, so and then enabled and I'm just gonna pick random oh, damn, some of these are locked I don't know what any of these mean.
Okay. That was something else I heard about this game, too. They used all the uh, actual voice actors. Like, they didn't just hire... Uh, they, didn't, they didn't just hire lookalikes from the street. Word for a moment. The taste of the Justice League. I thought uh, I thought my computer decided to restart. So I'm guessing these are uh, thick platforms. You can't uh, you can't jump down them. Where am I? Gone. 
Oh, we want it. Now that we're done, can I get a selfie? Maybe tug of war with the lasso? Continue? Yeah, I got a bail. So. Your character. All right. Like I said, I gotta. So I'll give up this on pause. Uh, but, but otherwise, that's gonna do it. Um, so looks like this game's a go. Um, the gameplay went pretty smooth. So, now I don't know about streaming it. So that, that's probably gonna be the roll test right there. But um, uh, it worked fine today. But I'm, I'm still guessing that at some point there's, it's gonna, there's gonna be a game crash. Um, if and when that happens, then I'll probably have to get a refund on this. So, but like I said, um, overall I like it. So, so yeah. Um, hopefully I'll be able to play this game, or specifically, I hope I'll be gonna be able to stream this game in the future. So. But yeah, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time.